So we're out here today with uh, a six-year-old uh, registered quarter horse mare. Um, she's actually my brother's horse that I'm starting for ranch work. I'll be working with her for several months. And so this is going to be her first ride. Um, we haven't, I haven't ever sat on the saddle before. I've kind of put weight in the stirrups, but I've never actually sat on it. So what we're going to do is start with it, and I'll kind of explain things as I go, so you can kind of get why I'm doing certain things. So first off, before I just go ahead and jump on, I, I like to teach my horses to flex, and then what I do is I want to be able to put my foot up in the stirrup, and reach over and slap the horse on the opposite side. Not hard, just enough so that they can feel me, and that prepares them for my foot coming over. And I'll kind of move around here, move my hands around above her eyes, and on the right here to make sure she's not trying to go anywhere. And then with her head still back, I'll step down and then go up and then get a bit more relaxed with that. And wait until she softens and release. And then we'll do it on the other side. And if she's good, I'll just get right on. Ask her to flex. And when I get on these greener colts, I don't like to get on way back here because if you put that foot into their elbow, sometimes they'll jump or whatever. If you're way back here by their, their hind end, you can get hit in the, the, with their hind feet when they go to jump away. So I try to get up as close to the shoulder as I can. I bend their head. And that just is kind of like my safety net. It doesn't allow the horse to go anywhere. And then I push myself up into the saddle. I get up here. I reach over on the other side, move around, and then I'm going to just swing my leg over. And once I get my leg over, I want to keep her head bent here until I get situated in the saddle. I've done roughly two and a half weeks of groundwork with this horse just because it was icy. Um, when I started the groundwork with her, I did about a week and a half, and then I gave her a break for several months. And then I brought her back and I did a solid six days of groundwork with her um, this past week. So this is Monday, she had one day off, and this is going to be her first ride. So basically when I get on, I just sit here, flex them back and forth, make sure that they're not going to go anywhere. Because a lot of horses, you get on and they just start going someplace. So I start this right off at the beginning, that when I get on you, you're only gonna go someplace if I ask you to go. So just teaching her patience, and also this gets them listening to the, the bozelle in this case, and softening up to your hands. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna just ask her to go straight off. I'm, I'm gonna get her to go in a series of circles, because if she just goes straight off, very possibly, um, if she's scared, she'll go bucking, and I'd rather not have that happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask her to go in a circle. I'm going to put a bit of pressure on, pluck her a bit here, and ask her to turn around so that she can see me on her back with her feet moving. And at this stage, I want her going forward off of the clock cue. Like, that's in my groundwork. I train her to go forward off of the clock cue, and then I'll yield her hind quarters, and then I'll ask her to go up the other way. But I'm ready to bend her head around here. You see how I have this rein up short? If she would go to do anything stupid, I've already taught her how to give. And so if she goes to do anything stupid, I'll just ask her to bend around like that. And that'll stop her from getting out of control. But I'll do it before she gets out of control. And I'll use a little bit of pressure here. not sure exactly what to do here and I just want her to move forward. There we go. 
So now I know she's not going to take off bucking at the trot. So I'm going to just move around on her and get her comfortable with just trotting. If she goes to lope right now, I'm going to shut her down as quickly as possible. I don't want her to lope until I ask her to lope. If this was a lazy horse, I would take the opportunity that they give me to lope. But since she is more of a, of a sensitive, um, jumpy horse, I'm gonna make it so she waits for my command to go forward. And she kind of got a little bit nervous there about me reaching back, so I just shut her down and then I just ask her to go up again. And so I want to be able to reach back and rub her hind end here without her freaking out and without her stopping. Just like that. There we go. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn her and send her off in a direction Go cut the corner a bit. I'm not gonna worry much about steering right now. All I want is that they, they move around and, and then the kind of a decent circle and come off the rain if I ask. And since and since she's really turning into the circle, I'm gonna turn her out and go back off the other direction. So usually on the first ride, I don't ride them very long. I ride them for about 15, 20 minutes. It's a real young horse, and they're kind of not very big. I don't, I don't want to get them out of air. Now turn her back into the fence, and she starts going here again. I don't want her to shut down by the, the gate. I'm going to turn her into the fence, just wait for her. That wasn't a real pretty turn, but it doesn't have to be. This is her first ride. All I'm wanting her to do is listen to the ring and turn. Just the basic concept. So now we're going to ask her a look. There we go. Just let her relax here for a second. Then I'll ask her to lope again. I always squeeze, cluck, and then spank. There we go. We'll just let her relax again. We'll turn her into the fence. There we go. Moving out nicely here. I'll ask her to lope on this side now. There we go. as well. Reach back and pretend she's an old broke kid's pony. There we go. Now turn her into the fence. Better going off in the direction. There we go. Now turn into the fence again. There we go. Now she's moving out real nice. 
just let her trot. She moved out for me. I don't want to ask too much. We got to get tired on this first ride. We'll just not turn her all the way around several times. And just get her listening for that nose and following her nose here a little bit. There we go. So she's doing pretty well. Very, very well for the first drive. Just turn her again. There we go. Now I just bring her out to the center here. I'll just shut her down. I'll just bend her head around and do what I call a one way squat. So I ask her head to bend around and soften and touch my boot. Jeans, stir for a fender before I release. As soon as you touch it, I release really quickly, and that's how you get part of how you get a life away. Releasing quickly and by giving to you. We'll just kind of move her around here a little bit. There we go. Hindquarters there. It's also an extra exercise I taught her on the ground. Move her hindquarters when I put my foot back. And we'll just sit here and flex on her for a sec from here and get her to relax. And not worry about anything, and that's basically it for our first ride. <laughs> Demonstrate how much the groundwork can help you and how you can get your horses nice and relaxed but also moving out. Closer here. There we go. I'll shut her down. And then uh, swing a rope on her back and crack the whip off her back and see how she does. I'll just move her rear end there a bit. So I'm not Desensitizing on the ground, but I've never swung a rope off of her or cracked a whip off of her. So, now this ain't going to be a huge loop. So, and she's never had a rope swung off of her before. I is. There we go. There's the first ride on our registered quarter horse. She's kind of cutting bread. So once she gets moving a little bit better, and when I'm not on her back, she, she's very athletic and can move quite well. Normally, uh, when I start a colt, I have somebody help me in the round pen, uh, just help get them moving out better. Because at the beginning there, you saw how her feet were kind of not wanting to go anywhere because she didn't really know what to do. She learned what to do as time went on, but she didn't really know what to do. So now when I get off, I'm going to bend her head around and I grab some mane because I don't want her to take off and freak out when I get off. So I'm going to grab some mane. I'm going to let her know I'm coming. I might rub her hind end here just before my foot touches her if it's going to. I just hang on, swing my foot over. Bend her head in, and then down. Kind of all in one smooth motion, but I prepared her for it first. When she softens, I let her go. And so, that's basically what, how I'd like my first ride to go. Um, it doesn't always go quite that smooth, but preferably, if you've done your homework and done your groundwork, the horses are pretty relaxed and comfortable in moving out. <laughs>